Hey guys, I know that you love instructional videos, but since I am not here, then I do need you to follow along with this video. I'm going to do um, a layer mask today. So this project that you're going to do next is photoshopping my face into a TV show or a movie scene. So in order to do that, you're going to need to know how to use a layer mask. So you're going to go up here to File and do Open. You're going to choose the picture that you want to Photoshop my face into. So I'm going to choose this one for now. Once you have the picture open that you want my face to go into, then you're going to go up here to File, Place Embedded, and then choose my picture. So you'll put my face somewhere around where you want my face to go into and hit your check mark. So at first the face is probably going to be completely off. They're not going to be the same size. They're not going to be the same angle. We'll fix that later. Then I'm going to come down here to my layer panel in the right side and we're going to unlock our background layer. Once the background layer is unlocked, you're going to take your picture that you want to bring through the other picture. So my picture through the monkey, you're going, to, you're going to put it down on the bottom layer. Okay, so you shouldn't be able to see my face right now. Then click on layer zero. And you're going to come down here to the layer mask button. Okay, so your layer mask is right here. When it is highlighted, then you can bring a picture through the monkey's face. If you are clicked off, then you cannot. So you have to click back onto this layer mask in order for it to work. So when you're on your layer mask, your foreground and your background colors should be black and white. If they're not black and white, go ahead and change those right now. They can be quickly switched by clicking this double arrow. So black is going to take away from the monkey. White is going to add the monkey back. So I need to take away from the monkey so you can see my face. I need to be on my brush tool. And then underneath image and layer, there's going to be a drop down. I'd like for you to click on that drop down. Make sure you're under general brushes and double click on soft round. Okay, so the soft round brush is going to make it blend better so it's not such a harsh line when you Photoshop my face through. Another thing you're gonna wanna pay attention to is this opacity up here. So the lower the opacity, the less my face is going to come through here. And the more opacity there is, the more there's going to be my face coming through there. So we're going to turn the opacity down to about 20 to 30. And then as you start clicking, then my face will come through. So I'm going to crank this up a little bit right now and bring my face through more so that I can see where I need to change the angle of my face and the size to make it fit better. So go ahead and um, make sure the black is on top, increase your opacity, and bring that face through your item enough to where you can see it. Okay, then we're gonna click back on this picture down here, Photoshop 1, and I'm gonna resize it, so Control T. Um, when you go to, to resize, if this link is not highlighted, then you're going to need to hold shift while you resize from a corner. Otherwise, your picture will get all distorted and the face will look really strange. You don't want that to happen. 
Okay, so either click on this link so that it's highlighted and resize from a corner or hold shift and resize from a corner. Okay, so let's resize this. I'm going to zoom out, control minus. When you're done resizing, then hit your check mark up at the top of your screen. And then we have to click back on our layer mask in order to bring or take away from this picture. So you have to have this highlighted right here. Let's zoom back in. I'm going to lower my opacity back to about 20. And then I'm going to go through here and start clicking and bringing through my picture where I need it to. And then if I want to take away, then I switch so that white is on the top. And you want to blend it really well, which is why you have your opacity down so low. You want to blend it so that you can get some texture from whatever you're putting the face through. Okay, so the next thing is, is that we can do some editing of the color of my skin to match the monkey so that it looks more realistic. Um, this will be especially important when you're doing my face on someone else's because my skin tone may not match the surrounding skin tone of what you're putting my face into. So to do that, you always want to create a new layer. So we're going to click on this, create a new layer, right down here in the bottom right. And then you're going to click on your foreground color. Click on the skin tone that you want to duplicate. So we color match. And then make sure you're on that new layer. And then you can start coloring over the skin to make it match the surrounding. Okay, so that kind of makes it lose some of the texture that it should have. So if you want to, you can go up here to this color mode normal and you could do any of these that will make it look more realistic um, so you can even do screen if screen works or lighten soft lay soft light hard light and then you can also decrease the opacity to make it look more realistic if you need to